Hi everyone, my name is Jessa Astrid and you're watching my YouTube channel. I'm so excited for today's video because I'm going to be reviewing the infamous and viral NYX Cosmetics Shine Loud Liquid Lipsticks. If you haven't seen them already, where have you been? But they look like this. They are the two-step liquid lipstick and gloss formula. There are 24 shades and I'm going to be swatching every single one on my lips. I actually just finished filming that and my lips are so done. But if you would like to see me wear every single shade, then just keep watching. So before I jump into the lipsticks, I just wanted to show you a couple little goodies that they sent me in the same PR box. The first one that they sent me was their new brow tint pen. I'm sure you've seen something like this before, but this is a super fine eyeliner type eyebrow pen. So you can draw literal hairs on your eyebrow. Not sure if you can even see that on my hand, but I used it on my eyebrows today and I'm actually really obsessed with this. All I did was use a brow gel and kind of flatten out my eyebrows and then filled in the little sparse areas with the pen. I've been super into the more natural type brows instead of filling them in with a general pencil or powder. So I'm really obsessed with these and I think they look really nice. The next product that they sent me is their new Marshmallow Primer. So the formula of this primer is different than other primers I've tried. It's literally like a Cool Whip whipped cream formula if you can see that it is super white but it blends nicely into the skin I am actually wearing the primer under my foundation right now and my foundation did go on really smooth and my skin feels very hydrated so I'm gonna keep testing it out and using it but overall I really like it so ignore how this looks but the next thing that they sent me is their new marshmallow makeup sponge is this little guy right here I did my makeup with it today and I left it dirty so you guys can see. So the one drawback I have with this sponge is it did soak up quite a bit of foundation. But this sponge is really soft and squishy and it did blend in my foundation pretty nicely. I also don't really like harsh corners like this on sponges because I feel like it makes little marks in your foundation when you're blending it out. So you really have to like squeeze it to make sure that you're using that rounded edge. But overall it was... Pretty nice. Now for the moment you guys have all been waiting for, the infamous and viral Shine Loud Liquid Lipstick by NYX Cosmetics. I'm sure you guys have seen these everywhere and this is the PR box that they sent me, well part of it I should say, of the liquid lipsticks. It comes, look at how huge it is. So this is just part of the PR box that they sent me. These are obviously all the shades of the lipsticks. They pull out like this. So these lipsticks retail for $11.50 here in the US and there are 24 shades which I think is a really good range of shades for lipsticks. They range all the way from a peachy nude all the way to a dark teal and blue. So whatever your preference is for lipsticks, you are definitely going to find a shade that fits you and that you like. If you haven't seen these lipsticks yet already on TikTok, they are the two compartment lipsticks. This bottom part is the actual liquid lipstick formula and the top part is a super high shine gloss. It's a two step process, you have to put on the lipstick first, let it dry for about a minute or two and then top it with the gloss. These lipsticks are supposed to be transfer proof, waterproof, smudge proof, like they do not move at all so they come in really handy right now the whole pandemic situation happening with wearing makeup right now is that when i take off my mask obviously my lipstick is just like everywhere all over my face and i just look like a hot mess so these lipsticks have actually saved my life a few times so i am super excited to show you how they are in action and we have a lot of shades to get through i'm gonna be swatching my lips 24 times with these transfer proof lipsticks so I don't know how I'm gonna get through this and I don't know how my lips are gonna be after this video but we're gonna get through it together so since we have a lot of shades to get through let's jump right in so I've zoomed you guys in a little bit so you get a closer look of how the shades are if you are a similar skin tone to me you can kind of use me as a reference of which shades that you think would look best on you and let's get started so the first shade that I'm gonna be applying is the shade Gold Crusher it is this nice peachy nude shade I think I would consider this the lightest shade in the collection so this is how the shade Gold Crusher looks without the gloss on top they are still wet and the key with these staying on all day is that you have to let them completely dry before applying the gloss so I'm gonna sit here for about a minute or two and I will be right back so it's been about two minutes and the lipstick is completely dry as you can see, nothing is coming off of my finger. They are still a little sticky and tacky, 
but that is what the gloss is for. So next I'm going to be applying the gloss on top. So the applicator for this gloss is a little bit weird. It is literally like a nail polish brush, but since it is just a clear gloss, I don't mind it. It actually applies it pretty nicely. So with the gloss on top, it really makes your lips look really nice and plump and juicy. Without the gloss, your lips do look a little bit wrinkly, but I don't mind that because they are meant to be worn with the gloss. So this is the shade Gold Crusher All Complete. So now that I've kind of given you how the lipsticks work and the process of how to put them on and a little bit of my thoughts, I'm going to be moving through the swatches a little bit faster or else this video is going to be like an hour long. But first I need to remove the lipstick and that is going to be the fun part and fun part as in the horribly wretched part. To remove the lipsticks, I'm going to be using this Pharmacy Makeup Melt Away Balm. So I've tried a few different methods on taking these lipsticks off and this has been the only way that is gentle enough for me to get through all 24 shades. I'm hoping and I've tried micellar water and I've tried an oil based makeup remover and those still didn't really take them off that easy. I had to really scrub my lips and I feel like if I use one of those for today's video my lips are going to literally fall off. So all I'm going to do is dip a q-tip into the balm and just rub a little bit on my lips. This just kind of breaks down the formula first before I start removing. As you can see, a lot is already coming off on the Q-tip. So I finally got off the shade and I touched up the concealer around my lips and applied a little bit more Vaseline to keep my lips hydrated. And let's move on to the next shade. The next shade I'm going to be trying is the shade Global Citizen. It is similar to the first shade, except it is a little bit cooler toned. And now I'm applying the lip gloss on top. I actually really like this gloss just by itself. It's super shiny and really smooth not sticky at all. So this is the shade Global Citizen All Complete. So now to take this off again and move on to the next shade. Next I'm going to be doing the shade Magic Maker which is a little bit pinkier of a nude and it's also a little bit darker. We see how smooth that goes on? I just remembered that I completely forgot to show you like the most like important part of these lipsticks which is the transfer proof proof so here is the ultimate test here's a clean hand no makeup on it it's like a freaking magic trick and I already put the gloss on top and nothing so this is the shade magic maker Oh my gosh, I literally just did magic trick and this shade is Magic Maker. Wow. So far my lips are doing okay, which is good. The next shade I'm going to be using is the shade Cash Flow. This is similar to the last shade, except this one is even a little bit more pinky. If you can tell, this is Cash Flow here. The doe foot applicator is bent, like it was pushed in like this when it was packaged. <laughs> Just flattening this back out. So this shade is definitely more pink than Magic Maker. In the actual tube it looked very similar, but this one is definitely, definitely more of just a light pink. So not my favorite color on me, I don't think it fits my skin tone very well, but if you're into pinky shades, then I think you'll really like this color. So it doesn't look horrible on me with the gloss on, but still not my favorite, but this is the shade Cash Flow. Alright, next we have the shade Born to Hustle. This one looks like a darker pinky nude, so I'm imagining the last shade, but a little bit darker. So this is the shade Born to Hustle. Five down, 19 to go. Next we have the shade Ambition Statement. I think this is gonna be one of my favorite shades. It is like a dark nude, brown, pinky. It's just like a balanced nude in my opinion. And I think this type of shade suits me the best. So this is the shade Ambition Statement with the gloss. Definitely one of my favorite shades so far. Next I'm gonna be trying on the shade Moving Up. This is like a bright, bright pink. I don't think this shade is going to look good on me either, but let's find out. 
Oh yeah, this is not for me. Not for me, not for me. Also, this one is a little bit patchier than the other ones I've done so far. It's like not as opaque right in this area and I've tried layering it on top and it's just not working out. So this one is not very... So this is what the shade looks like with the gloss on. If you really love hot pink lipstick, then this may be your shade. But for me, this is a hard pass. <laughs> Next is the shade Overnight Hero. It is this mauve cool toned purpley shade. This is an interesting color, so I'm curious to see how this is going to look on me. So this is the shade Overnight Hero with the gloss on. This is a really interesting shade. I don't know how I feel about it. It's pretty weird. It's like really cool toned and I don't ever wear cool toned shades on my lips. So let me know in the comments what you think about this shade. Moving on, we have the shade Trophy Life. This is another pink shade. This is more of a purpley pink and less of a corally shade pink. So something I really like about these lipsticks as well is that throughout the day when the gloss wears off, you can actually apply a chapstick or a Vaseline or whatever type of moisturizer you like on top of the lipstick and it's still not going to move which is like unheard of, at least in my world. Whenever I would apply a matte liquid lipstick before, when I'd put a Vaseline on top of it, it would just rub right off because I feel like the moisturizer formula breaks down the lipstick. But with these, that's not the case. I've tested it multiple times and every time I've applied a Vaseline on top of the lipstick and kept wearing it and worn a mask, whatever, it still doesn't move, which is like amazing. So you're not gonna have to worry about your lips being dry which is great. So again, this is the shade Trophy Life. Next, we have the shade Life Goals. This is a dark, warm, nudie color. I think this would look really pretty if you are a darker complexion. Let's see what this looks like on me. And this is the shade with the gloss. So next, we have the shade Another Level. This is a hot, hot bright neon pink like i said i'm also interested in seeing how the formula performs since they are so pigmented one swipe and this is the shade with the gloss on okay gonna remove uh, once again all right, so now we have the shade World Shaper. This is similar to the last tone, except it is a little bit more red and a little bit less pink, but it is still super, super bright and neon. Next, we have the shade On A Mission. This is very similar to the next shade with just a little, little bit more red and a little bit less pink, but it is not a true red just yet. So this shade is so stunning, I'm obsessed. It is very bright and vibrant, kind of like a berry red. Definitely gonna be one of my top favorites, but let's see what the next one looks like. So next we have the shade Rebel Red. This is the most true red shade in the collection. It is not too pink or too dark. It is just like the most fire red. Let's do another kiss test. I haven't shown you another one for a while. Nothing on my hand. Nothing on my hand. The gloss transfers a little bit, but still leaves my lips looking shiny. And absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. All right, next we have the shade Make It Work. This is a dark berry purple. It is not too cool toned, not too warm toned. I think this is a very pretty shade. It looks a little bit more cool toned than in the actual tube. So the formula didn't go on patchy at all. I think this looks really pretty. It is a little bit more cool toned than in the tube. I don't know if you can tell on camera. Okay, next we have the shade In Charge. This is similar to the last shade, except it is more of a berry warm tone. I thought the last one was going to be that, but it turned out to be more mauve. This one actually seems like it's going to be a warmer berry shade. So this shade is a little bit harder to apply. It's a little bit patchy, but not too bad. Just got to smooth over it a few times. But I can tell a few parts that are a little bit more opaque than others, but it's not too bad. This formula also feels a little bit like thicker and stickier than the other ones for some reason. 
So this one did take the longest to apply. It is a little bit more difficult to make sure that it's nice and even. Um, it got a little bit patchy, but again, purple shade. Um, but my trick is to just kind of dab it with your finger and smooth it out and I got it to look pretty decent. This is a really pretty shade. This one is more of what I thought the last shade was going to be. So this is the shade in charge with the lip gloss on. And now we finally have the last purple shade of the collection. This is the shade Shake Things Up. This is a dark true purple shade. I've never worn a lipstick this color so I'm interested to see <laughs> how this goes. Formula is pretty good surprisingly on this one. This shade is very interesting. I don't think it's really for me but if you're into purple lipstick I think you'll really like this shade because the formula is actually pretty nice. For the next shade it is called Boundary Pusher. It is this light brown shade. Fun fact, I used to wear brown lipstick all the time in like 8th grade-ish to 9th grade-ish. Um, I got a ColourPop lipstick, I forget the name of it, but it was like a dark brown and I used to wear it all the time and it was like my thing and then I don't know what happened. I got into nudes or whatever. But I'm excited to wear brown lipstick again because I literally haven't since probably that time, which was a while ago. Next we have the shade Never Basic. This is another brown shade. It's just a little bit darker than the last shade. And I think this is going to be a little bit more warm toned. Three shades left. Three shades left. Alright, the last brown shade is Next Gen Thinking. It's an interesting name. This is a even darker brown. It looks a little bit more purpley brown. This is the last brown shade and then we Again, <laughs> once again, the foot is bent. Just gonna bend it back. Yeah, this is a very cool toned, almost gray brown type shade. The thing keeps bending back even though I bend it forward again. Makes it a little bit harder to apply, but that's okay. We have finally made it to the last two shades of the collection. They are both blues. One is a teal and one is a royal blue. So let's swatch these and be done. I'm going to be doing Self Top Millionaire first. This is the dark teal shade. I'm really obsessed with this color right now, but I've never worn it as a lipstick. Ooh, look at that. That is really, really good. That's impressive. And last but not least, we have Disruptor, which is this royal blue shade. It is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, we finally made it through all 24 shades, swatched and reviewed. I am going to go take this off again with my cleansing balm, and then I'm going to go throw on some regular lipstick so I don't have to take it off again, and I will be right back. Okay, so I just put on a plain good old matte lipstick so I don't have to scrub my lips a single more time. If you have made it this far with me, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching all those swatches and I hope it helped you out if you were thinking about getting some lipsticks yourself. Overall, I really love these lipsticks. The formula is really nice and they are exactly as advertised. They do not budge. I had to scrub my lips with a cleansing balm and q-tips and they are completely raw. But I hope you enjoyed this video of swatching all 24 shades. Let me know in the comments which shade you love the most. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe so you don't miss my future content. I'm gonna be uploading a lot of reviews and a lot of tutorials very soon. Also make sure to follow me on Instagram at JessMarieAstrid and TikTok at JessaAstrid. You can also text me to my personal number at 323-208-0782. So I'm just going to go take off my makeup and grab a snack and go to sleep. I am so exhausted. I love you so much and I will see you very soon.